Hi, this is Martin and welcome to my spectacular screen. Uh, today I want to show you a little quirk with the RME drivers or RME software, Total Mix Effects on a Windows machine. Basically, um, you won't find the, the Total Mix uh, effects in your collection of program or software that is installed on your computer. Um, I have no idea why they did this. There's probably a reason, but uh, many people struggle to actually find the total mix effects or the, the settings for your audio interface. Um, it is hidden somewhere. It is hidden basically in the taskbar or in the, it's called system tray. And right now we don't see it. I can click on this small arrow here. And then I might be able, able to see it or not. Hmm. not. Right now it's a little bit difficult to, to tell. So uh, let me help you in this regard. We go to the start menu and we go to the settings. And here in the settings we find personalization. And in personalization, let me just open the screen. You will find taskbar. Let's click on this taskbar and there is nothing to set, but here, notification area, select which icons appear on the taskbar. Let's click this one. <clears throat> and then immediately we will see that it's not showing all icons in the notification area or system tray, whatever you want to call it, because it's deactivated. So it just shows the most important settings right now, like network settings and volume. And there is Marty Face settings, and there is Total Mix Effects. So either I switch them on individually, I can do that. Let's see. And once we go here, we can see this is Total Mix Effects. Let's open this. Ta-da! There we go. Let me close that. Or you go to the RME settings screen. Wow, great. Okay, another option is that you just leave it off and you just switch on that all icons should show in the system tray or notification area. And now you can see here the Marty Face settings and here's Total Mix Effects. Yeah, so it's easy to access. But there's many people who struggle to find it because they might have different settings for this system tray or notification area. It always gets installed when you install a driver for your RME interface, but it might be hidden somewhere or you might not expect it to be here. Many people probably start looking for the software somewhere here, RME folder, and then somewhere inside RME folder, but there is nothing. That's a little bit confusing. Anyway, I just wanted to show you so you can enjoy your interface. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.